one thing I want to get off my chest, and I think it's important to point this out. That your background can be really confusing. Uh, surely by now you would have heard about how Sargon of Akkad has posted a picture of a girl on his Twitter, mocking her for various reasons, but ultimately targeted her for wearing a feminist t-shirt. No, I never saw the shirt, but as you said, it was a feminist shirt, so it probably had bullshit lies that feminists love to use even though the facts contradict them. If you've seen the videos of Michael Rollins, Kevin Logan's, or the Willy Bumblebee, you ought to know that this girl has become the target of harassment and threats of violence, including rape threats, among many other things. And that's completely unacceptable. But you cannot hold Sargon responsible for what other people do. That's like trying to hold your aunt responsible for something you do. It doesn't work. People have the, the ability to choose their actions. So don't start with that blaming one person for the actions of others. Now, you fuckos who hate feminists and claim that there is no sexism and no discrimination against women based on gender and who keeps saying women don't get harassed. It is you, you hateful idiots, who harass and threaten women online. First off, I have a question. Are you actually old enough to use those words? I mean, you sound like you're 12. Secondly, we have never said that women aren't harassed and there isn't sexism. We're mostly against the lies and bullshit that feminists peddle. Such as, you know, this. Yeah, you should be fucking proud of yourself. These are the fucking men that are going to rape the sisters and the women in your life. You should be fucking ashamed. Yeah, yeah. See how she says all these men will be the ones to rape the women in your life? life? Yeah. Accusations like that from feminists are what we're against, you fuckwit. Being a feminist woman online, I get a lot of this shit. My friends who are feminists, in particular women, get this kind of shit constantly. So you're saying that just because you've experienced it from some individuals you've interacted with online, that means all men have done it, are doing it, and will do it in the future. Are you really that stupid? I gotta say, the last video I did where I talk about how Jeff Holliday's video is a bunch of white nationalism apology and racism apology. When Jeff decided to respond to that video with a live chat, completely misinterpreting what I said. How could he have misinterpreted it when you've literally just called it white nationalism apology and racism apologies? No. If you call someone a white nationalist apologist and a racist apologist, they will call you out on that bullshit, provided they actually aren't that. But... That's, you're doing just exactly what feminists and SJWs always do. Someone doesn't agree with you? Oh, you're a communist, you're a racist, you're a Nazi, you're a whatever. After the chat, I was sent threats of violence, threats of rape. I was sent porn, I was sent rape porn, I was even said child porn. And if that happened, that's unacceptable. But you'll have to excuse me for being skeptical without any evidence. You fuckos who claim to be against violence, you send women threats of violence and rape to shut them up. And you idiots claim there is no sexism and that there is no problem of men harassing women and men engaging in violence against women. More feminist SJW generalizations generalizing all men is the same. And no, we didn't, you little cunt. We've never said that men didn't act like that. Not all men act like that. Some do. Most don't. But you're a feminist, so one guy acts one way, we all act that way. 
When you say you do this to protect the freedom of speech, it's not freedom of speech you're interested in protecting. It's the choice you make to engage in violence and harassment against someone. That's why you're so eager to apologize for Richard Spencer, to apologize for Bering, for Sargon of Akkad. Yes, as a human being, I am sorry for Richard Spencer's behavior because he does not represent all men, nor does he represent all white men. He is a Nazi, racist, son of a bitch that deserves what he gets. Bering is actually a pretty cool dude, if you'd actually watch his videos once in a while, but you wouldn't, you don't care because you're not a feminist, you're evil, fuck you. You want to be free of being fucking racist, you want to be cleared and free from harassing women online and threatening them with rape. To shut us up, to exclude us, to ostracize us, and to violate us. You're against freedom of speech when you do these things. Not all men are like that, you idiot. How hard is it for you to get that? There's a thing called freedom of choice. Freedom of opinion. People are allowed to think whatever they want, no matter how heinous or disgusting it is. Do I think racism is right? No, I don't think it's right. But... People are allowed to think whatever they want. You're hypocritical shitbags. When your argument is to make a live chat or a video in order to get someone dogpiled, harassed, threatened, you've lost that argument. And you know you've lost that argument. You've got nothing. Otherwise, you would respond to what was actually being said. Can you prove it's their intention to dogpile and not just the feminist having such a stupid stance on something that all the others disagree with her and they claim, oh, it's dogpiling because they all disagreed with me. By doing this, you're proving that you're a piece of shit, basically. When you harass women online and send them threats that you will beat the shit out of them or rape them, or when you choose to send them pawn, hell, fucking child pawn. You've shown you lost, and you have no fucking core. You're scum. You're just a hateful, sick fuck who hates women, and you're looking for any reason to engage in violence against them. We're not even four minutes into her video, and how many times now has she generalized all male anti-feminists as one and the same? Again. We're not all like that. I'm no more bearing than she is Anita Sarkeesian. So, am I supposed to blame everything Anita Sarkeesian does on her? Because that's basically what her argument is. But don't get me wrong. A lot of women do get harassed by men. And that's not right. But, it is not all men that do it. Not all men harass women. Not all men want to harass women. By generalizing all men is the same, you, in fact, lose your argument because you are not willing to differentiate between this group and that group. You're just like, fuck it, they're all the same. It makes your argument meaningless. You lose any credibility when you generalize. You people who engage in harassing and sexual threat campaigns, there are hundreds of thousands of you. Are shithead scumbags, but... Fat Tyson needed! Praise the Lord! On the number that you've just provided. What is your problem with women who speak out, or even who swear, who stand and fight for something that they believe in? Because... These are all things you value in other men and you perceive as strength and dutiful in other men. But when women do it, and especially when women have different opinions than yours, you use violence to shut us out, to silence us, to scare us into silence, and you violate our rights. 
My problem with women who speak out is the same as my problem with men who speak out. Are they providing the actual facts or the distorted, twisted facts to meet their agenda? Typically with feminists, it's the ones they distort where they omit parts or just twist it or just straight up lie. That is more common in modern third wave feminism than not. That is my problem with feminists. But like I've said repeatedly, violence and threats are not acceptable. But you still continually generalize all anti-feminists as being violent and hateful. We're not. We get hateful when idiots like you continue to generalize us and misrepresent us. If you don't want us, the YouTube anti-feminists, to be so hateful, stop fucking lying and generalizing and slandering us. If you really cared about freedom of speech, you wouldn't send women threats to silence them. And about Richard Spencer getting punched. You claim you're against it because of freedom of speech, right? Then why use harassment and threats and ultimately violence against the people who disagree with you about how a neo-Nazi got punched? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, 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 wait. I got a couple good examples of feminist harassment. We are all willing to call you whatever gender and identity you want. Because are you, you guys are you believe that you are the smile of your bitch, what you want? <laughs> About this one. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything that happened. There's no, there's no reason to be I didn't see anything. Yeah, nothing happened. Though. I didn't see anything. Nothing happened. I didn't see anything. And this one? Science and facts. Extremely controversial. Oh! Oh! oh my god. Oh, but I forgot anti-feminists are the only ones that are violent and lie. He's become kind of a symbol. Oh! Actually, about Richard Spencer. I have no problem with him getting punched in the face. I have no problem with racists, neo-Nazis, sexists, and bigots getting punched in the face. However, I do have a problem with people being punched because they have a differing political opinion than you. That's unacceptable. So, you claim you're against violence, but you use violence against people who don't think like you. You are exactly what you claim to be against. But don't you realize that people who don't think like you in regards to Spencer having been punched, who express something differently than what you think, is also freedom of speech. So you're saying we should give people that spread hate and hate speech the same respect as we do free speech? Fuck you. If this was Germany in the 30s, you would be screaming, Give Hitler respect. Fuck you. People have the right to have a different opinion than you. And they have a right to express that opinion. That principle doesn't just apply to you and people who think like you. I've seen people go on and say, well, if it's okay to punch neo-Nazis because of their ideologies, it's okay to punch feminists then because of their ideologies. Yes, they do. And no, it doesn't. And I'd like to ask for some evidence of your accusations because I have never seen someone say that anywhere. Feminists don't use feminism in order to advocate for genocide. Really? Then explain to me the feminists that want to reduce the male population by upwards of 
Sounds like genocide to me. For banning people, for lesser rights of certain people, for violence and for supremacy. For banning people, um, look at all the universities that have banned speakers because they don't agree with feminism. Uh, have a look at this. Okay. I came as part of my Let's women's studies. Let's go and uh, talk to you. We're not super interested in talking to you, first of all, but basically we're here to shut down an event that is promoting the patriarchy. Neo-Nazis, though, that's what they advocate for. Supremacy, violence, discrimination, genocide. Yes, they do, and they're horrible shitbags for it. But you were equating all anti-feminists to neo-Nazis, which I equate that to slander because we are not all neo-Nazis. Feminism, equal rights, basically that's it. Nice fucking false equivalence. This is not about punching people because they have a different opinion. White supremacy is not an opinion. I don't understand what it is that you guys don't understand. And I don't understand what it is that you don't fucking understand, you little shithead. Because we are not all white supremacists, you little cunt. And same goes for you weirdos who mention Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is not about supremacy. It's not about the genocide of white people. It's about stopping the racial bias, the unjust profiling of black people and their genocide. We don't disagree that black lives do matter. We are not anti-black people. We're not racists. We don't agree with the organization called Black Lives Matter. They are a domestic terrorist organization because everywhere they go, they destroy people's property. They riot. That is what we don't like. We don't like the organization. You say you're against Spencer getting punched, but apparently you don't give a shit about cops killing black people. You're against a neo-Nazi getting punched, but where the fuck are you when women experience domestic violence? When the fuck do you speak out for women who get beaten and raped by men? You don't speak up against those things. The level of stupidity in your generalizations is breaking my brain. No, we don't all think the same way as some people, you fucktard. Like I said, I'm fine with Richard Spencer getting punched. I am not okay with some cops abusing their powers. Why do you think it's okay to generalize us all as evil? Where the fuck were you when Trump defunded the Violence Against Women Act. You don't give a fuck about that. And how do you know what any of us have thought, or said, or done? It's not like you know any of us. You don't give a fuck when violence is committed against black people because of racial bias. You don't give a fuck when violence is committed against women simply because of their gender. You don't give a fuck about trans people who get beaten up and killed. You never speak about those things. More slanderous, stupid bullshit. But a white nationalist, a white supremacist gets punched. And you are all fucking outraged. You're all white nationalist apologists. You fucking people who do this. You help normalize racism and discrimination. You just confirmed. You were one of the biggest pieces of human shit I've come across when you fucking call us all racist apologists, you little cunt. I know for a fact most of the anti-feminists on YouTube, all the ones that I've seen, are not racists. They are not racist apologists. They just don't like violence. They don't have the same mentality that I have when it comes to punching racists. But you, you little cunt are a piece of shit. You have no fucking idea who you're talking about. You don't know anything about our personal lives. You know fucking nothing, you hypocritical little cunt. And when 
someone speaks out against this, like I did in my last video, you sent me threats of violence. You sent me rape threats. You sent me rape porn and fucking child porn. You people are fucking sick. You're rotten to the core. And here you are repeating yourself again. Firstly, no, we didn't. Apparently you've never heard of internet trolls that do that. And yes, some men are assholes, but not all of us. And sorry, but you provided no evidence. I'm not Lacey Green. I won't believe you unless I see evidence. So provide me some evidence and then we can have a rational discussion without you calling me a racist, sexist bastard. Your doxers, you post pics of women for them to be harassed, humiliated, and threatened by men. You put women in a position where they will be the target of abuse. And by doing so, you participate in this harassment. You misrepresent them when you can, like Sargon did with this girl who had to wear that shirt because it was a shirt that everyone at work had to wear. Like what happened to me with my last video, like what happened to, I would say, most of my feminist friends online. Again, with the uh, generalizations that all anti-feminists are evil bastards, you do realize that the actions of the few don't represent the many, right? Also, most anti-feminists on YouTube are actually egalitarians, which is literally, look at the definition, it is literally the exact same thing as feminists, but without the negative connotations that people like you give feminism. Because you don't address any real argument. You don't address any ideologies. You don't express one of your own. All you do is bully and hurt people. Yes, we do. We address the arguments, the hypocrisy, the lies, and we back those up with facts, not your alternative facts that you and Trump like to use. We use actual science facts that we can back up with credible sources. But the fact that you people like to ignore those, that's your fault. Your idiocy, your stupidity, not ours. And why do you do this? Because women have different opinions than you? Because Feminists have different opinions than you? And you claim to be for freedom of speech? Seriously, fuck you. I don't care how many more times she says it in this video. I'm only going to say it this one last time. Stop generalizing all of us as the same person. We are not all that way. We don't all do that. We are not all scumbags. We are not all bastards. But you, as a feminist have to generalize because it's what you do. It's like point one in the indoctrination process. You people are white nationalist apologists. You're abused apologists. You're harassers. And you use violence against women to take away their freedom to speak. No, we're not. No, we're not. Not all of us. And no, we don't. Bullying, harassing, threatening people is not freedom of speech. It's the exact opposite. Then why do you do it also? Oh, I'm sorry, did that hurt your feelings? Did you not like the uh, the whole one-for-all fallacy? I don't know, if you'd stop using it, I wouldn't, you know, throw it back at you. It's you taking away the rights of someone else to speak and to live their lives in peace. We're not super interested in talking to you, first of all, but basically we're here to shut down an event that is promoting the patriarchy. Hypocrisy much? Your freedom, and that includes freedom of speech, it ends where the freedom of someone else is compromised or nullified. That's how freedom works for everyone. If that is so the case, then why don't you start practicing what you preach? You preach against men hating women, which you say all anti-feminists do, which I've seen massive evidence of the contrary. Yet, 
it's okay for feminists to hate men, attack men, denigrate men, and all that. That's okay because it's feminists. Get your head straight. Make up your mind. What's it going to be? You keep choosing to harass these people, in particular women. Women who have done nothing to you. Stop acting like you're all innocent little angels. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. You're fucking scum. You are fucking scum. Fucking rape apologist, incest supporting, woman hating, fucking scum. Is there someone else that can wait to see more follow me? Fucking scum. Yeah, just no, another. I just, I just want to listen to someone else's opinion. I'm not even on a side here. I just list as many people as I can. You know what, though? Why would you pay money to fucking support a fucking rape apologist if you weren't fucking one? I never heard him say anything Well, it's. Fucking scum! So, go film yourself's point of view is. All anti-feminists are racist apologists, white supremacist apologists, Richard Spencer supporters. No, we're not. Just like not all feminists are idiotic lunatics such as yourself, but that point's probably lost on you.